It is Wednesday, June 19th, 2019, 1.26 p.m., 24 degrees outside, I feel like 27. Uh, it is pretty warm outside, definitely shorts weather, uh, not super scorching, but uh, finally nice, but I think it's supposed to rain like this week or next, all next week, it looks like actually Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so that won't last, so that's annoying, but yeah, so today, talking about some changes, so the first is the tattoo, so the tattoo that I was going to get on Friday, I have rescheduled for Tuesday, July 30th, and the reason for that is because... Um, Sometime this weekend, I think it was, or last week or something like that, I had a, I had a very bad dream. I, I woke up, or in the dream, I, I, in the dream, I got three tattoos. I got one on both sides of my jaw and, like, one underneath my chin. And they were, like, small little tattoos. But I remember in the dream, I was like, I, can't, this, I hate this. Like, I just got these, and I can't feel I did this. I regret this so hard. This is such a stupid decision. And after that, I was just kind of panicked for a little bit. Like, I'm making a good decision with this tattoo. Uh, and so, Monday, I decided to take my red marker from my whiteboard and put the heart on my elbow which i don't know why i didn't do that before because with a smiley face i did it like every day for like a month um but i did that and i realized that like i really didn't like the way it looked like i, tr I tried like i tried with different ways so like i tried it with the with the bottom of the heart facing me up like different all the different directions I tried it big small no matter what i did nothing worked and no matter what i tried like i kept thinking like i don't i don't like this like this isn't a good this doesn't look good um and i don't i don't know and for a second, I was like, well, maybe you'll like it more. And I was like, no, don't get a tattoo that maybe you'll like. Like, you need a tattoo that you actually do like. This is going to be on your the rest of your life. And so I started to get a little nervous. Cause, and I was like, okay, well, maybe this isn't good. Maybe I'll just reschedule it. Um, maybe take a different place to put it. Maybe I'll cancel it's a $50 deposit, which kind of sucks. I won't get that back. But, like, I'm not – after a while, I was like, I can't get this tattoo. Like, it doesn't look good. I tried my other arm, too. Like, it does not look good. So um, I went on Discord, and I was like – I told Carla, like, I'm thinking I might – cancel that appointment or like I might reschedule or something because I really don't know where I'd put it and because I was thinking about it it's like I kind of put it like somewhere a little visible and like easy to spot but like no like I didn't want to put it on my wrist which Carla suggested because I've seen that everywhere it's too cliche and I didn't I, like I didn't want to put it on my elbow I tried putting it like somewhere here that wasn't working literally nothing literally nothing was working and so I told her I was like yeah I don't I don't think that's a good idea. I don't know if I'm gonna do this um and it's this Friday and so she said I want to show the wrist I said I don't like that and so she said, why don't you put it on like your shoulder or like your on your chest or something like that and I thought about like putting it here so basically I went and I drew it on my chest like underneath my collarbone I guess I could just just for when I if I do eventually get it because I drew it on my collarbone I was like oh I'd like this like I immediately liked it so um I think I'm gonna leave it there I guess I could just take this all off eh? Uh, so basically right here oh that's a lot of light it's like right here is where i want to put it yeah that light right like right there like underneath my collar like kind of underneath my collar between my collarbone and my shoulder kind of right there and um i don't know i just like the way it looked it looked better and I, I don't know so i was so i was doing that and uh, this was on monday so i was doing that and I was like, okay, I, I, like, I like this tattoo. I like, I'm definitely like, I definitely feel good about this tattoo. This is where I want to get it. And then I started thinking, well, like, am I just going to get this? Like, I, I was, am I really, really going to have like less than a week to kind of think about where I want to put this in this new spot and then get it? So initially I was like, yeah, whatever. It's just, you know, I'll get it. I like it now. So whatever. And then I started thinking like, okay, with the smiley face, it took you like two years to get this. You thought about the elbow for months and months and you didn't draw it on for whatever reason. And you just realized you hated it. So why don't you do this? Why don't you reschedule for the end of July? That gives you a month and a half to every day, every day before I go to bed, I'll draw it on there while I'm brushing my teeth. I'll like stare at it, you know, kind of see my peripheral vision and I'll just see if I like it. See if I, after, if, if, if after a month and a half, I still want it there. Yeah, I'll get it. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's what I decided to do with the tattoo. Um, so happy. So basically when I first went in to book it, um, if they had time, they would have, I would have got it that day. If I wasn't going to Wonderland last week, I would have got the, the appointment would have been on Tuesday and I would have probably had a tattoo that I regret right now. So things worked out pretty well there. Really happy. And um, it's rescheduled. So, um, yeah, that's for the end of July. So uh, that's one of the changes that happened. Uh, another quick change, not really a change, but something that happened was um, Black Label Society, Black Dahlia Murder and Alien Weaponry are going on tour in the coming near me. So that is going to be awesome. Because uh, literally just two days ago, so I found this out yesterday, and the day before that, I was looking up, I was like watching Alien Weaponry again and listening to the music again, and like, oh my god, this, these guys are so good. Like, they honestly are so good, and I want to see them live so bad, and literally the next day, they're touring. So, 
Uh, and Black Daily Murder is a band I've, I love. So um, definitely going to see that show. Uh, that'll be cool. Uh, actually, the tickets are on sale now. I should probably check what the pre-sale code is and ask Matt if he wants to go. But um, yeah, so going to that, that's in September, I believe. Um, there's that. The next thing is MCSE. So uh, currently studying for my 741 in my Security Plus. Um, Security Plus is going pretty well. Um, I found that, I guess, MCSA or MCSE is better to have than MCSA. And for me to be an MCSE, I have to take an, one additional exam of my choosing. And the only one that kind of makes, because there's a whole bunch of different ones like related to different things. But the one that really, because there's like cloud and there's like Azure and stuff like that. But the one that most applies to me would be the security portion of Active Directory and that's 743. So what I'm thinking um, is I'm going to get MCSE because people are saying that like those are the two most recognizable. MCSA and MCSC are the most, and MCSE especially are the two most recognizable uh, certifications for Microsoft, um, and especially your MCSE if you have that. MCSE if you have that, it's good. So I'm gonna get that um, after my Security Plus. I, once I'm done, like once I kind of get through studying that, I'm gonna start working towards 743. Or I guess after I'm done my 741 and 42 and Security Plus, I'll start working towards that. Um, and then I'll get that done. Uh, and I was looking at what I could do for like my certification roadmap. And I just kind of took a quick glance at uh, CompTIA's stuff online. And basically what I think I'm going to do, uh, for whatever reason, I just really want to get my Linux Plus. So I heard that it helps a little bit with um, having like security, with, with like your security, security certifications, especially for like your, your hacking certifications. So, um, but just in general, I want to have my Linux certification. So I want to get that. That's something that I want to work on. But before I do that, most likely before I do that, uh, what I want to do is focus on getting my... Uh, cloud security done because that would be really that'd be actually a really good certification to have and then i think so basically what i would do you know i get all the stuff from school and what i would do next is uh 743 for my mcse cloud security um probably after that linux and then maybe go into ccna and then go into the ccna security which oh my god that's gonna be so difficult and so annoying but yeah so that's what i've been thinking about um and so We'll see how that goes. Um, 743, honestly, it, 743 doesn't really seem that difficult. It's a lot of just like securing Active Directory and making sure it's safe. So just making group policies that work like that, but doing BitLocker um, from what I saw. So I don't think it'll be too difficult, but again, who knows when I get the book, we'll see. Um, and the other thing that's changing is my diet. So lately I've just been like, I've still been doing like the eat, eating treats on the weekend um, and whatnot and kind of not eating unhealthily during the week, but I've noticed, like, my stomach, it's not that I'm fat, I, I just noticed that my stomach has, like, it just has a little bit of extra weight to it, and it's been like this for a while, um, and I want to get back to where it was before, where, like, my stomach, not that, not that I had a six-pack, but you could definitely see, like, a muscle outline on my stomach, whereas now it's, like, even, even when I wake up in the morning, it's not just flat, it's kind of like that bleh looking, or, like, there's a little bit of a hump, and I'm like, I don't like that, I don't like that at all, so... I think the, 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 the eating that I have been doing on the weekend has been getting a little bit out of control uh, because every week and I will get fast food at least once. Um, last couple of weeks has been Wendy's um, and I kind of go overboard buying treats. So I mean like like last week for example I bought uh, cookies. I bought this like not cheesecake but it was kind of like this cheesecake looking thing. I bought chips and dip which I didn't have any but there was that um, plus the fast food. And, and, and even during the week, like even during the week, I'm eating a lot more than I think I should be. Like I'm having a job, big bowl of cereal and even though it's healthy cereal, I'm just eating way too much of it. I'm having two granola bars, the dark chocolate, if I remember dinner, and then maybe at night, if I'm still hungry, I might have like a little bowl of cereal. Like that's way too much. So, uh, today, starting today, I started having the, the little bowl of cereal, which I, which I, uh, I, I just wanted to see how much, like how, what can fit in there. So it's basically, um, it's half a cup of the all brand flakes or whatever, the granola and the fiber, and then one and a half cups of milk. And I want to look into almond milk again. I tried it a few years ago and it was good, but after a few times of eating it, I was just like, oh my God, it's disgusting. But I think I was eating out of the big bowl, which is why I made it gross. Cause like the more I eat, like when I, cause it wasn't bad at first, but like the more I eat it, like in that one sitting, the more it gro more gross it got. So I think with a small bowl, it'll be fine. And uh, if that's healthier for me, I think I'll do that. Um, I want to start eating maybe like vegetables and fruits again. Uh, the only thing with that is just when would I eat that and like the preparation for it 
Because when I get home from school, I want to eat. I don't. I don't want to just eat like a fruit and a vegetable. Like I want. I usually will eat cereal. But then afterwards, I'm like, okay, why well, eat? Would I eat vegetables right after that? Would I leave it for later in the day when I'm like when I'm hungry for something? Like sometimes I'm not always hungry for that. And so in the past, like I would buy like, okay, I'll eat this, you know, at night. And then at the one out of the five days of the week, I would eat that at night. And it's like, okay, well, I'll just waste the money. So I don't know. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards buying like maybe like an apple, like we're just eating apples or something. Cause just cause it's like, it's something sweet. Um, and, 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 and all that. But then at the same time, it's like, I kind of want to get like maybe some baby carrots, some celery or something. I don't know. So definitely want to eat a little bit healthier during the week. Um, also instead of eating two granola bars, just one, um, Going back to that, I, did, I initially started with just just one, but I, for some reason, started going to two. And then if I didn't have dinner and I just have like cereal for dinner, I would eat three or four. Um, and yeah, so I just want to, yeah, I just want to, I just want to get rid of this like little chubby stomach thing I've got going on. It's not even chubby. Like I don't even. There's nothing wrong. Like I, I think I'm, I think I look fine. It's just I don't like the way that my stomach kind of has that fatness to it. And it's not even fatness, but you know what I mean. Like so. I want to go back because I used to have a nice, nicer looking stomach and I want to do that again. So, um, yeah, so, so, so those are the changes. Um, and now I'm going to go, um, so, so this week I, I submitted because last week there was a, there was like a meeting I had with one of the people at school and it was to, to, for my, inter for my internship, just giving me information. I start that in October, I think, and they're going to start looking for me and they gave me like a, they said, you know, they, they said, send me your resume. And then also they had me fill out this little form as to what I was really looking for an internship. And, uh, on my resume, I've updated it and said, you know, kind of lied and said that, you know, at home, I have my own active directory server and I, and I exchange server and all this other crap. And I was like, okay, well, I actually don't have that. So I should probably start doing that. And specifically with like 741, um, I did some of the questions, but now I think it's actually time to put some of that into like practice and see it working again. And like maybe redo some of the stuff I had in the, uh, like notepad I take, I, I, I have at school. So I think I said to myself, so I have to find that and then start working from that and kind of just just relearn everything, what it does, how it works, and uh, that'll help me study for 741. Um, and then yesterday I started reading 742 at night. Um, because, and I think it's a lot better the way I'm doing it now because before what I would do is I would try to read chapters before I did them in class. But I think reading them after, like obviously now it's like months later now, but um, reading them, reading the chapters after Jason has explained them in class, that's a lot better to understand because like I'm able to visualize stuff, I'm able to understand better what they're saying in the book, um, especially when they're using a lot of like convoluted words and stuff like that. So convoluted, 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 I don't know. Um, so I, I definitely am understanding more reading the 742 book now than I think I would have had I not done that. And I'm understanding more what is and what is not important. And having done a few exams now, uh, especially Microsoft ones, or like what, three Microsoft ones now, um, I have a better understanding as to what I should probably focus on in terms of memorization and then what I should focus on in terms of like actual doing. So uh, command lines, for example, like knowing there's like th three or four different command lines I need to know for uh, importing users into Active Directory or making users act in Active Directory. And it's like, okay, well, there's PowerShell, there's this CSM, whatever, this L something, and there's, uh, I think there's one other one. And it's like, okay, well, remember those, remember the difference between them because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a question on the certification that's like, which, which program would you use if you want to import 25 users or whatever? Like, so I need to know that. So. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start working with that a little bit and uh, figure all that out. And um, yeah, so yeah, and and uh, so Sunday, Monday, and yes, yeah, so Sunday, Monday. Uh, I was really like, I get this every t from time to time. It's like I'm really dedicated. And, like I really, you know, I want to really work out hard. So Sunday, um, because I had so much stuff for laundry, I had my underwear, I had my pajama pants, I had sweatpants on. As well as I had a t-shirt, my my pajama, pajama long sleeve shirt, and a sweater that I put the hoodie on. Um, and I, I was sweating so hard. Like, I like I was literally had to wipe off sweat because it was dripping down me. Like, my legs, I've never... They, they've been moist, but they've never been, like, legitimately sweating like that before. So, and I was going hard, too. I was, like, I was really putting a lot of energy into that. And um, Monday as well, like, I, I, I was, you know, just in my underwear that time, like I usually am. But uh, I was a lot more, like, I was, you know, trying really hard. Yesterday, just for whatever reason, the strength killer stuff. Oh man, it was just hard to really care. Um, and I think today with the with the leg thing, it's not going to be that great. But like, I want to. I like when I have those moments of of wanting and caring about doing the exercise, just because it's like, you know, this is good. It's going to help me get you know that body that I want. So yeah, that's 
another thing. Oh, and then I guess another change is that I'm going to probably be making all of the videos on the Hopeless channel, on Hopeless Log channel private or unlisted, I guess, just because I was thinking about it, like, why is this public? Like, if I can, if there's a way that I can make it so that, like, only my channels can view them, that'd be nice. But otherwise, I'll just leave it p private or unlisted and then just log on to vlogs when uh, I want to watch something. So, um, probably do that when I have more time. But yeah, so anyway, I'll leave it at that and uh, I will see you, talk to you uh, later. Bye.